Soon there'll be nothing anyway. At night, I felt sick and groaned in pain. Scoot with your cancer. I'm trying to sleep here. I moved to another room. David wouldn't even come to see me. He hired a young nurse without asking me. He was like a moth to a flame, flirting away. I put on my favorite dress for David's office party, but... Take it off. Don't embarrass me. You're not going. I found another plus one. Everyone will be jealous. I had a fit that night and cried for help. Someone, give me a shot. I'm dying. But I was alone. They were having fun at the party. Next morning, I saw David and the nurse in our bed. How dare you? I almost died last night. I can't wait. Will you go with me? No, I don't care. I hope you don't come back. He yanked my wedding ring off. Before surgery, I sobbed alone in the room. Suddenly, my husband's boss made a surprise visit. I was shocked at what he said. I couldn't believe it. I called Doc right away and filed a complaint about my nurse. You should fire her immediately! After surgery, I woke up to my husband. Leave me alone! I'm calling security! I'm filing for divorce. You're dead to me. Out. Tests are excellent. You're in remission. You sure there's no mistake? I fought the disease bravely and won. I went to the office party in my favorite dress. But without David, I divorced the scumbag. Now I'm with someone who appreciates me. But my ex refused to give up and came crawling. Marry me. You're the best woman on earth. Stick that ring where the sun don't shine. You wanted me dead. The true test of love is not in joy, but trouble and illness. Once you betray someone, prepare to be betrayed too. Back then, in the hospital, Sean showed me a wedding invite. My ex and nurse had already set the date for right after my funeral and the insurance payout. David invited his boss, but things didn't go as planned. I already have a ring, and I couldn't be happier. Now get lost and stop embarrassing yourself. My ex ended up all alone and unwanted. His lover dumped him right after the dismissal and divorce, which took almost all his money. She never really loved him, just like he never loved me.